Hi, I'm Bart Simpson, Esquimalt High School grad class of 1987. Go Dockers! Uh, I'm sitting here in Brasilia, capital of Brazil, uh, working on a new documentary project. And I'm super thrilled that Mr. Orm uh, got in touch with me and asked me to be a part of this uh, video memory of um, uh, grads uh, talking about what they remember and impacted their lives as a result of being in Esquimalt High. And uh, I think there's one image that comes to me first, and Mr. Orm can probably tell you a little a bit more about it. It was the Podium Libera Liberation Organization, the PLO. And uh, a certain group of students, of which I was not a part, would uh, liberate podiums from uh, uh, classrooms in the school, and suddenly they would appear on top of another building. Like there was a uh, temporary um, theater building in the back, uh, one of those portables that uh, the government said would be temporary but ended up staying there for about 20 years. And uh, there was a podium on top of it. And that kind of got me interested in the idea of community at Esquimalt High. I had no idea what it meant really. I just saw this piece of wood on top of the, on top of the building. But it got me asking the question of who did that, why did they do it. Uh, I was kind of new to school in grade 9 at the time. and. Uh, so I decided to get involved and, and see who I could meet. Um, so I became a part of student council. So when I left Esquimalt High and um, I entered and I left university and I entered the documentary industry, I started looking for organizations and ways that I could contribute to my community that would make uh, my life more interesting and hopefully my hopefully my community more interesting as well. Um, that led to me. Uh, chairing our national documentary organization called the Documentary Organization of Canada for a while and I met a lot of really interesting people um, and uh, I attribute that to the tools that I learned in student council with the help of uh, the teachers who were there, uh, Mr. Wallace among them, people who took their time and um, really wanted to make sure that the students were having a voice and, and could figure stuff out together. So I think if, if I were to say one thing to a student who is just coming into a squabble high is get involved. Um, uh, do things that uh, do things that make you feel uncomfortable at first, even though you like. It. If you know you're going to like it, or if you're really curious about it, even though you're scared, just go do it, and uh, amazing things can happen.